Okay, so imagine this. Everything you've ever done, every moment you've experienced, just floating around like loose pearls scattered on a cosmic floor. And now, here's the kicker. What if those moments aren't just loosely floating around? What if some cosmic glue, yes, a quantum glue, held time together like a necklace, perfectly strung? Crazy, right? But hang tight, because that's not even the weirdest part. All right, let's start super basic. Time. We think of it as this super linear, straight to the point arrow flying forward. Wake up, coffee, work, sleep, repeat. It makes sense, right? But the deeper you dig into the physics, it's like, bam, time's not what it seems. Einstein comes in like, hey, time is stretchy. And quantum mechanics jumps in yelling, time isn't even consistent everywhere. Boom, minds exploded. So we think, okay, the universe must have some kind of mechanism that stitches this crazy story of time together. That's quantum glue, or at least the idea of it. Now, you're probably wondering, Olympia, what on earth could quantum glue even be? Does that mean there's some weird space-time Elmers floating around knitting reality into a cohesive thing? Well, in a way, yes and no. Stick with me, I'll explain. So, quantum physics already tells us particles can pop in and out of existence, right? And let's talk about quantum entanglement, where particles that could be light years apart are somehow, weirdly, instantly connected. Like, if one particle's a sunbeam in your room, the other's somewhere chilling in the Andromeda galaxy. Yet they behave as if sending texts, instantly. Physics calls it non-locality, but I call it the weird, instant messaging system of the cosmos. Now what if time works just a lee, little bit like that? This leads us to something insane. Quantum entanglement, but with moments. Picture this. Moments in time aren't just lined up, like chairs in a row. Instead, they're tangled up in a web, like spaghetti. They could influence each other backwards or even sideways. What if something that happens in the past, get this, feels an echo from the future? thanks to this quantum gluey connection. And yeah, I know, the idea feels bananas. Like, we base our lives on time moving in one direction, right? You don't pour coffee into an upside down mug and hope physics makes sense afterward. But in the quantum world, the usual rules? Totally out of the window. Like the arrow of time? That's the big kahuna, the boss of classical physics. But the quantum mechanics of time? They're more like a jazz musician doing improvisation. They don't care about directionality. Take this experiment scientists cooked up. It's called the Delayed Choice Quantum Eraser Experiment. It's okay if that sounds like gobbledygook. Here's the bite-sized version. A particle gets observed, right? But depending on how and when you observe it, that changes what it was doing in the past. What? Like you're just thinking, oh look, science. And bam! You've rewritten your particle's cosmic diary. Mind. Blown. So why does this matter for quantum time glue? Like, how's this sticky stuff key to holding moments together? Here's where it clicks. The universe may not be stringing along moments of time chronologically. Instead, quantum mechanics might be orchestrating a kind of interconnectedness, knitting moments of existence together. And maybe, just maybe, no time moments are entirely isolated. Okay, deep breath. If quantum glue is real, and trust me, physicists are hunting for the breadcrumbs, it could mean time as we know it isn't a lonely one-way street. What if moments, instead of being single frames in a movie, are collective, uh, hive-minded snapshots? They could ripple and influence each other across the span of the timeline. Think of it like dominoes, but in 4D. I mean, picture this. You're looking at a star 400 light years away. It's light? It's already ancient history. But if there's truly quantum glue, could that star in its dying moments somehow ripple across the eons to tweak our perception here and now? What kind of cosmic synergy are we talking about here? Does this connection explain why the laws of physics, like, work to begin with? Okay, buckle up, because now it gets even weirder. There are these theoretical things called time crystals. Yes, time crystals. They're real, not just some sci-fi nonsense. 
Time crystals can cycle through energy states without ever using energy. Like perpetual motion but quantum style. It should not exist, and yet it does. And if you ask me, time crystals might just be powered by, drumroll, quantum glue. But wait, there's an elephant in the room we gotta tackle. If there is quantum glue holding time together, are humans affecting this gluey mechanism? Like, seriously, we observe the universe. We measure things. Could our very existence be one of the tools across time's toolkit? Could human consciousness itself, just by observing, contribute to this cosmic gluing effect? Physicists argue endlessly on this, let me tell you. Einstein didn't love it, but today, here we are literally arguing whether looking at a watch alters reality. Wild! Oh, and speaking of humans, do you know how this might explain memories or deja vu? Imagine, maybe those memories aren't just brain chemistry. Maybe we're feeling echoes tied to the quantum glue linking moments. Maybe your mind at 10 years old is quantumly tangled with your mind now. Sounds almost poetic, right? Quantum entanglement of you. But okay, let's not get too poetic before we deal with a critical twist. Who, or what, made this quantum glue to begin with? Is it just some inherent quality of the universe? Or is this some deeper structure we haven't even decoded yet? Keep in mind, this is how physics grows, with questions, curiosities, experiments, and theories bumping right into the boundaries of reality. You know me. I'm jazzed because this theory doesn't just rewrite what we think of as time. It reimagines how the universe works. If this connector glue idea pans out, it could reshape theories not just about time, but space. Physics has long been weaving space-time together into a tapestry. But now quantum glue? That's the thread we didn't even know we needed to reveal the full cosmic picture. Ultimately, I'm leaving this at your feet. What do you think? Could quantum glue be the ultimate seamstress of existence? Are we mere humans interacting with time through a quantum web without even realizing it? I'd love to hear your theories in the comments. Or hey, if this was all over your head but still fascinating, hit subscribe. There's so much more science where this came from, trust me. Welcome to Hyperfocus. Mind-blowing discoveries are my wheelhouse. So grab a coffee, join the convo, and let's explore the universe together. And hey, if you need a little fun outside the quantum madness, check out our Conspiracy Theories channel for those moments when we just want to get weird around the coffee table. Alright, catch you in the next episode. The universe isn't going to unravel itself, right? <laughs>